All right, now we're doing AQ All-Star Coding Challenge number 18. This is by Shaddy Jr. and 93% of the people like it. This kata is intended as a small challenge for Shaddy Jr.'s students. Uh, we're going to create a function that accepts two string arguments and returns an integer of the count of occurrences the second argument is found in the first one. If no occurrences can be found, a count of zero should be returned. So like in this one, in the string hello, there's one O. In the string hello, there's two L's. In an empty string, there's zero Z's. Uh, the first argument can be an empty string. The second string argument will always be of length one. Gotcha. All right, so with this one, we're gonna do a for loop. We're gonna say, uh, we're gonna just start by declaring a function let results equal zero. We're gonna say for let i equal zero, while i is less than str.length, we're gonna say i plus plus. All right, so for this one, we're gonna say in an if statement, if str at the index i equals the letter, the, this letter, uh, we're going to say result plus plus. We're going to add one to this number right here. So it'll do it like you'll see two L's and it'll add one and then add another one and it's two and whatnot. So right here, we're going to say, uh, return result. All right, and let's test it out. Look, it works, great. But you'll see in the answers, there's a JavaScript way to do it too. Uh, and so we're gonna change this to concise syntax, const str count equals str letter with an arrow right here. We're gonna say console.log and do that. And inside here, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tr we're gonna test this thing out, right? We're gonna say uh, let's say letter, excuse me, str to start with. All right, so we got hello, and now let's change this to e right here, so it's easier to see. And let's do a dot split right here. And if you don't know about the split method. It uh, takes a pattern and divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for the pattern, putting the substrings into an array, and returning the array. So like this one, it's splitting it by the uh, spaces, by spaces, so each word is going to be in its own element. Uh, this one's splitting it by the spaces in between the characters, so each character is going to be its own thing. But if we put like the letter in there, it'll split it by the letter. And let me show you what will happen. So let's type, let's type letter right there since it's a string going in there. Let's test that out. All right, you can see now we've got two here. We've got three here instead of two. We've got one. And so if we do dot length, let's test it out again. We've got two, three, one, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but two, when we're expected one, three, expected two, looks like we're off by one on these. So let's just say minus one. Now let's see what happens. One, one, two, two, zero, zero. Looks good. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's test this out. And just like that, now we know what this means. Attempt it. All right. And submit it. All right, you can see here's the uh, one we just did, but it's in regular syntax. Here's the one we just did. No, this one's split and then filtered instead of doing minus one. Whatever, you can do it however you want. And then here's the way we did it at first. And let's go over to mine. And uh, just 93 of us plus these people. Best practice, very much like it, and we'll see you next time.